All right, so last year when you guys played Western, it was a two-touchdown game for you. Obviously, not a repeat performance this last weekend, but you've had your fair share of uh, big games, especially in the red zone. Uh, what makes you a threat when you guys get inside the 25? Uh, I think our game plan, we just always have a good game plan. Um, I feel like they put me in good positions to kind of make plays. I've uh, been here in this offense for about two years, so they kind of know my attributes and my skill. So when we get in there, uh, you know, I'm getting excited. I get excited anytime we're in there, whether I'm on the field or off the field. But when we're in there, I feel like, uh, they, like I said, they know my skills and my attributes, and I feel like I'm pretty good down there. You do it a number of ways. You can go up and, and catch a ball over a guy in, in Illinois State. You kind of walled off the defender and then kind of spun into the end zone. Uh, what, what, what goes into uh, like a, a catch in the end zone? That, you know, like what, how, how, do you, how do you score a touchdown, I guess? I think when you get in that end zone, the biggest thing is confidence. You got to know when that ball coming to you. Like, this ain't just like, this ain't any catch. This is a end zone catch, like you get a touchdown. So that's where the money really made at. So when you get down in that 25, for me personally, like, I know I got to have that confidence that if that ball is coming to me, no matter what, I got to come down with it because this is an important time in the game. You can get down there, but you can't always score. So the end goal is to make that money down in the end zone. So confidence, for sure. You'll hear it on a ton of broadcasts. When you get to the red zone, the windows get a little bit tighter. Mm -hmm. you know, defenses have to cover as much field. Yep. It takes a lot of trust for a quarterback to throw a ball to a guy mm -hmm. when the windows are tight. Why do you think Theo trusts you in that area of the field? I feel like practice, uh, just building that um, that connection during practice. When we come out here, we go as hard as we can. We don't treat it like it's a regular day. We come out here and we treat it like it's a game. So when we come out here and practice, we build that connection strong. So with uh, confidence come from preparation. So when we go down there, that preparation's already done. So uh, he can trust me just like I can trust him when we get down there, so. You transferred in the same offseason as Theo, correct? No, nah, Theo was here a uh, year before I was here, okay. so yeah. So you, last year was your first year? Last year was my first year, yeah. Okay. Take me through what it was like uh, coming up from Iowa City. Uh, what was that you know, transfer portal experience like? And, and just how did you end up in, at, in Cedar Falls? So uh, I ended up in Cedar Falls just being Starting my college career in Iowa, uh, I've always been treated like um, family when I came to Iowa, whether it's from my teammates or uh, just people, locals in here. Iowa's always been a place that I feel like uh, gained my trust and um, always showed me love when I came here. So when I came with the opportunity, when, Cedar, when you and I came with the opportunity to kind of give me a scholarship and take me out the portal, uh, it just made sense with the offense and uh, the things they were trying to do. Um, meeting the things that I wanted, uh, the things I wanted to see when I came out of Portal, it just made sense. So, uh, already being in Iowa, it was kind of, it was kind of, just felt right to do so. And um, yeah, that's why that's how I ended up in in, in Iowa. But being a transfer, the challenges of being a transfer is when you come from a different school, you know, you kind of got that stigma. Like people are already probably trying to probably believe that you think you got you're this cool guy or. You know, you got to kind of beat that stigma. You got to come in and just work like you and I work. So I came in here, I just kept my head down, and I worked, and I kind of gained the trust from my from my teammates. It took some time, but of course, you know, I'm a new guy, and uh, I feel like I gained that trust, and I'm one of those guys that they, can, that they can count on. So. And then, you know, you got to play in the Iowa offense, which is certainly a different style than what Coach Reader's having you guys do. Mm -hmm. um, what's exciting about this offense? You mentioned it a couple of times that you feel like the skill sets uniquely uh, Tailored to this offense. So, what, what's exciting about this offense? I think this offense is uh, it's an offense that understands their players. They understand what they can do. They don't limit any players to just uh, one style of offense. Uh, being coming from Iowa, uh, great program, great coaches, great players, uh, but they have a way of doing things, and they're going to stick to it no matter what, no matter what type of player they got. So, uh, this offense, what's exciting is they adjust. They adjust to who they got. They they learn about their players and they put them in positions to, to win and use their skills to the best ability. We got players on here who uh, are like our receiver room is so deep. We have so many people that can step on the field. We have about six to seven people who can step on the field and uh, add on to our team. So, it's just exciting to see this offense just use people, use them, use them to their best ability. So, yeah. You're from Missouri originally, right? Yes, sir. Kansas City, Missouri. Yes, sir. So, kind of uh, homecoming. It's like three and a half hours. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what, what what's going to be going back and playing the FCS, one of the FCS teams in your home state? What's that opportunity going to be like for you? It's going to. So, I got a, quite a bit of family coming out. You know, I'm a Missouri kid, so um, uh, I got that Missouri pride in me. At least Kansas City pride in me. So, uh, just going back to Missouri and, and going to a place where it's accessible to my family, it, it kind of means a lot. You know, I got a, quite a bit of people coming out to come see me. Late in the season, it's a big game, it's an important game. So to have my family come out there and support me, I'm excited. This is one I'm looking forward to. So.
Anything else? No, sir.